project I've come to see today is here in the Exmoor National Park and this is a beaver project as you can see this is uh, some of their work. I'll be speaking with Ben who will explain more about how the beavers can change the environment in which they're placed. They are certainly magnificent engineers. I mean, look at the size of this tree and that has been felled by one of the beavers. So the beaver project here at Hunnicutt is part of the Riverlands project which is a national national trust program uh, focused on rivers and ri river catchments um, and the beaver project here was part of us trying to restore some natural process to our river systems so we've got river catchments that have been very simplified uh, because of the way that we've managed the land so we've constrained and confined rivers um, and we've lost a lot of that habitat that goes with a more natural river system wetland essentially you know we've lost a lot of the water from the landscape and there is real benefit in terms of trying to reverse some of that both in terms of climate change and biodiversity and also benefit to us in terms of dealing with extreme weather wet and dry and beaver are a really good tool in the box to address some of those issues they restore some of that natural process that we've that we've lost so if they're in an area where there isn't much water they need they like deeper water they still think there's bears and wolves around they like water to move around in and access food they will engineer that landscape to create that, that, that water that they need, that wetland habitat that they need. And that has a whole range of benefits for us and, 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 and wildlife. You're surrounded here by you know, numerous ponds and none of these ponds were here how long ago? Uh, two years. So this is, this, is, this is two years worth of work uh, by one beaver family, um, mainly the adult male. Uh, the female does a lot of supervision she, she, and, and she, uh, she stays sort of nearer the lodge. You can see the lodge over there behind you. Um, and there's kits now, there's sort of three kits, so they're, they're a family. So this is, this is about two years worth of work. This site didn't have much water in pre-beaver. Uh, it was an unmanaged wood, spring fed. So all of this water that you've seen, this impounded water is, is here because of the beaver. And it's not just at wetter times of the year like this, this 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 site is brimful of water even during the you know the the, the driest of the, the the driest times. So we had that really hot dry period last year, 2022. This site was a green oasis still because it was still still a wetland. These are very flashy river catchments, and what beaver do is help to hold up water in the landscape. So they you know they it sounds very simple, but they sort of they slow the flow of that water through the landscape. Um, where they don't have that, they like about 60 centimetres of water, where they don't have that sort of depth, that's when they build the dams, that's when they pond. They also engineer canals to, to link those ponds, so it becomes this kind of intricate, you know, uh, sort of beaver waterscape, if you like. And, um, and like I say, they don't need a lot of water to create, you know, a site of this sort of scale, and, um, and, uh, and, 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 and it's a really sort of... Um, vibrant you know you've seen some of the bird life in here it's you know it, it's really vibrant it's noisy you know and and, and that noise is year round you know this, we're in the middle of winter now but come the spring and the summer the, the insect noise is incredible and all of that is is food you know we've lost a lot of habitat for wildlife we've lost a lot of the food and um, that, that, that wildlife need and and this kind of habitat is a real kind of oasis. So what has impressed you so much about this beaver project? The, the rapidity, the, 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 how fast the change has happened. Uh, they really do engineer those changes quite quickly. Um, and the, just the, you know, the, the scale of the change as well. This site's three hectares. There was water and very little of it. We've now got this you know, this mosaic wetland habitat through most of the site. Um, and there's real complexity. That's what I like about what the beaver do. It's um, in, in the landscape at the moment, the way we've managed things, it's, 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 it's uniform and it's very simple with, with hard edges to things, which isn't great for wildlife or, or resilience to climate change. And what the beaver do is they soften and mess, and th mess things up. And uh, 
I, I really like that. And it also, a lot of the things that we wanted to deliver as a project that you would otherwise have to do through river restoration projects, natural flood management, all of those things, they take a great deal of time and effort. Beaver do for free. Um, you know, obviously it requires a bit of management, but, um, but they do just, you know, they are ecosystem engineers, you know, they are a keystone species. It, um, uh, and it's, it, it's fantastic to see the change that they affect. So is it hope that uh, there can be a wider release of beavers around the whole of the UK? At the moment, you can only get a license for an enclosed release. There are wild beaver in England on the River Otter. Um, but at the moment with Natural England, you can only get a license for an enclosed release. Hence, that's what we've got here. Can you describe the, uh, the family that has actually taken up residence here? Give us a breakdown of who's who. So, so you've got um, you've got mum and dad. You've got Yogi and Grills. Um, Yogi's the, um, the the big male, and then Grills, and then you've got um, then you've got the three kits. Um, you've got you've got Rashford, who's uh, a little bit older. He's a juvenile now. He's he's sort of two, um, and then the two kits that were born uh, spring last year. So so family of five. Um, we're just getting to the point where um, Rashford, the juvenile. Uh, we'll probably have to trap him and he'll have to be relocated because if they were out in the wild when they get to sort of two and three, two or three, the, um, the juveniles tend to move out and find their own territory. So that's where the carrots and the... Uh, carrots and parsnips. Carrots and parsnips. They love parsnips. They're very, they're, they love parsnips. Parsnips is their, uh, that's their favourite. Yeah, that, that's, how, that's how we trap them. That's right. Yeah, the, so the trail cams that we've got that you've seen dotted around, that's for us to, to monitor um the beaver to, to to observe their behavior but also just to you know to carry out some sort of some visual health checks make sure their weight's good their condition's good and then this this trapping again is just to get a real handle on their condition their weight um those those juveniles need tagging um and then obviously um hopefully um trap and um and relocate um rashford so if you can't sort of visit the area you can go online i understand you can, that's right, yeah. So the last couple of years we've run uh, tours of the beaver enclosure for local community and visitors and they went down really, really well. Um, people were, it, yeah, it's, we've got such positive feedback, loads of energy sort of from that. Uh, so we had to think about how we could share that with a wider audience and started working with a local company that have got some amazing 360 degree cameras. So we utilise those to get some great footage around the enclosures and then build that into a platform that was linked to the trail cam footage we've got. And now we've got this, this, this virtual beaver tour that people can access through the National Trust uh, website and they can, you know, they can get a flavour of what it's like to, um, to immerse themselves in this kind of uh, wetland wonderland.